their degrees uh, terminated because they are co and other coding languages like python etc i am going to answer some of the recently asked question on my guys welcome back to your channel this is ojesh agrawal and today we are shooting this video as a small vlog and uh, i am going to answer some of the recently asked question on my previous video i am standing in front of woolies at the moment and uh, yeah we have got discount chemist over here and this particular uh, square is called uh, ashwood yeah from this part to this part it is called ashwood and from this part to the other part it is called burwood so i'm so sorry for for distracting from the topic but yeah today uh, let's talk about master of business analytics and information system first so i'm getting uh, many uh, questions with respect to it like uh, some people are saying that i am from a management background and i am from a very non technical background so will i be able to cope up with the uh, course so first of all master of business analytics for me is doable and i am okay to cope up with it sometimes i also stress out about the assignments and the projects that are going on in the university sometimes uh, but yeah it is uh, pretty much doable first of all the tools that you will be surely dealing with in the course in this course is microsoft excel power bi uh, tableau microsoft powerpoint microsoft word along with this you might uh, also have to uh, deal with sql and other coding languages like python etc this also depends upon the unit that you take in for example i've got this uh, core unit which is called machine learning in business it has got python in it which is purely for data analysis so if you would like to ask for my recommendations in order to prepare for the course before coming to the university so i would say that uh, you must uh, first of all have a great look about r for analytics power bi tableau python for data analytics rapid miner is a software how to deal with and just play around with it a little bit and also yeah just uh, try to create your linkedin profile and get into networking with the people who are enrolled in the same course or who are in the same university or you might find someone who is traveling in the same plane from the same state from any country which you are want traveling from right so you might have a good benefit in this say it benefit because it really helps when you are stuck into an assignment and you might have a friend who knows how to deal with it and he might just give you a little bit idea of okay we'll get, we can do it uh, this way but uh, first of all i'll just say that uh, don't rely on anyone uh, in terms of assignment over here in australia because there are many people who just give money outside and get their assignments prepared but that is not a good thing because uh, cases are being heard that uh, even after the completion of the degree like more than 5 years they have been graduated now their degree is uh, terminated because they are caught in plagiarism or collusion because they might have some at any moment shared their assignment or notes or something which might have been similar to someone else's assignment so that is a big disclaimer please don't do that uh, apart from this yeah you will be able to do it uh, there will be many things when you come to abroad uh this is because when you're leaving your house you will have to start cooking for yourself you will have to start doing your own laundry and everything uh, whichever thing that you have to do in your daily life you will have to do it by yourself so that might be a problem for some people for me it was not a problem a big thanks to my mom who from a very little age told me okay you just start doing this uh, start preparing rotis start preparing some sabzi so i i am uh, fortunate enough to have got good parents to just let me understand like okay you have to do things by yourself so by any time you leave house you won't be in a very bad situation to not make food for yourself uh, apart from that i came to learn about washing machine just over here washing machine was something that i came to know about how to use and stuff in australia because the one that i had in my house was very different from what i have over here in my shared accommodation yeah so the next thing that we jump upon over uh, is your accommodation just on the time of arrival so there was a checklist that i made in one of the youtube shorts that you might go and have a look at it you might either contact some of your relatives who you know okay that it is a safe place to go to uh, when you are just starting your uh, new life over here in australia the second thing is uh, booking airbnb or any hotel which might cost you a little bit but uh, that will be a safer option the third thing is you might uh, stay with a friend 
uh, which I would not personally recommend because it in a long term really spoils your relations. Uh, it is really very bad. I am saying this from my personal experience. Uh, yeah.